we've got folks like you. And the poll numbers are shattering all these ideas of conventional political wisdom. And they're scrambling to try to figure it out. Wouldn't it be really nice just to completely confuse and confound all the chattering classes up there? And on January the 3rd, it's wrong. Some have tried to say it's uh, about evangelicals, and social conservatives, and pro-life people. Well, goodness, I hope so. Amen. I hope pro-life people finally have a candidate that is not going to just talk to them and then never do anything when he gets there. <laughs> The sanctity of human life goes to the heart and to the soul of our civilization right. who really believe that that's what our founding fathers meant when they said that all of us are created equal and equality is not based on our IQ or social standing, our ancestry, our last name, or our ethnicity, our agenda, or anything else. Who really takes that to heart and therefore every human life has intrinsic worth and value whether it's in the womb or whether it's in the hospital bed late in one's 80s, it's still a valuable human life that we ought to preserve, protect. Yes. and cherish with dignity and with honor and with respect. That's who we are as a country, anything less than that. Yes, sir. And we're denying our own heritage. And I didn't just talk about it as governor. I helped lead a human life amendment in our state. I helped lead in a, also a marriage amendment in our state that affirmed that marriage really does still mean something. One man, one woman for life. It's not that we're mad at other people, but we understand that the basic social structure of society is in mothers and fathers not only creating children, but training them to become our replacements in the next generation.